Microbiology is the study of organisms that we can't see with the naked eye. But do you know what you can see with the naked eye? This next segment, take a look. All around us, there are millions of incredible animals, plants, and fungi. But you can't see these amazing creatures because they're all teeny weeny itty bitty. Today, I'm meeting virtually with a microbiologist who's gonna show me the world that we can't see with the naked eye, the microscopic world. Her name is Dr. Nia Madison, and she's a biomedical scientist, professor of microbiology, and director of HIV research at Miami-Dade College of Florida. When I was 12 years old, I saw a documentary about the HIV epidemic in South Africa. I decided I have to be a biomedical scientist. I want to make a positive difference in the world. I want to cure people all over the world who are infected with HIV. In the search for that cure, Dr. Madison and her team have already discovered 12 different proteins that can help inhibit HIV from infecting our cells. To do this groundbreaking work, Dr. Madison needs to observe cells at a microscopic scale. But you don't need years of school or thousands of dollars to see this hidden world. There's a way you can do it at home, today. I'm gonna call her and find out more. Hi, Dr. Madison. Hi, Nabil. So why is it important to study these tiny, tiny things? Tiny microorganisms are on our skin. They prevent us from getting infected by the bad microorganisms. Tiny microorganisms produce vitamins that we can't produce by ourselves, helping to regulate our mood. They help us to digest some of the food that we wouldn't be able to digest by ourselves. So if I wanted to be a microbiologist, where's a good place to start? We could start by getting some experience on the microscope. I wish I had a microscope right now. You can, let's build one. All you need are a few things from around the house in the hardware store. Let's do it. To build our DIY microscope, all you need is some foam board, an X-Acto knife to cut out the base, top and stage, carriage bolts, washers and nuts to hold it together, wing nuts to adjust the stage so we can focus, a flashlight or a light source. How's this look? It looks beautiful, Neil. And our magnification comes from the lenses of two cheap laser pointers. Our magnifying lenses will be peeking through the hole that we made. It's so simple, even an awkward yet handsome science show host like me could pull it off in less than 30 minutes. Woo! Now it's time for the fun part. So we should look at something, right? Do you have an onion around? I have an onion. You know, I always keep an onion around. Since onions can stain, Dr. Madison has me slip on some gloves, which I do very gracefully. Nice. Then we make a small cut in the onion and peel off as thin of a piece as possible. It goes on the slide and then onto the stage. Sick. It looks like a dragon scales. It is better than a microscope because I can take pictures. And you can zoom in so you can magnify those cells even more. What? Amazing. Dr. Madison also sent me a box of prepared slides so I could check out some other microscopic marvels. This is penicillium, which is a type of fungus that produces penicillin, which is an antibiotic. Penicillium has no business looking this good. It's a teal color because it's stained so we can more easily see it on these prepared slides. We also have some very tiny animals that can only be seen microscopically. It's called Daphnia. I know I'm not supposed to pick favorites, but I think Daphnia might be my favorite. Nabil, let's look at some human blood. I see thousands and thousands of red blood cells. So you would study white blood cells in your HIV research? That's right. We would purify the white blood cells from this whole blood cell sample, and then we would count them and do some tests on them. Well, Dr. Madison, thank you so much. I mean, hearing about your research and finding a cure for HIV is really awesome and really inspiring. I had no idea that the world of microorganisms was so beautiful. I would recommend that anyone who is interested in microbiology make their own microscope and investigate all the things around your own home. See what's there that you couldn't see with your naked eye. Bye, Dr. Madison. Bye, Nabil.